Hello everybody, happy new year to everyone. Today we are going to have a look on domain separation in service portal. In our last video, we have seen how the visibility can be set across uh, service catalog. In today's tutorial, we are going to have a look how domain separation can work in service portal. So, uh, these details are basically based on the Paris version. Let's have a look. Fundamentally, domain separation does not work in service portal that means if we have one service portal that should be visible across all domain but there are other ways on how we can portrait the data to the user and that's how we need to ensure the data is segregated across domain separations okay uh, in today's tutorial i'm going to show how data can be segregated across portals so that it can act as a uh, separated data in different different portals if requires we can basically uh, set up different company portals and uh, we can redirect user to appropriate company portal in today's tutorial this is what we are going to achieve we will have two portals and we are going to redirect users to appropriate service portal elements on service portal platform such as settings portals pages visits these are not domain separated so, what is domain separated? How we can segregate the data? But the uh, beautiful part is data which is published on those visits are separated by company. That means they display based on the appropriate domain. Okay, catalogs visibility, which we had a look in our last tutorial, uh, that uh, that is also set uh, based on the user criteria. So we can control the view of them as well now to provide different experiences admin can create separate service portal and uh, each service portal is going to have unique urls which users can redirect to so in today's business case we are going to uh, separate the data based on company portal so let's have a look here so this use case says we have a user ABCD and user which is an employee of ABC company and has end user access to company portal and their company portal is ABC service portal that's how it is named which has an extension as slash ABCSP where we have another user called XYZ and user which is an employee of XYZ company and they are using the default portal now how we can redact users this is what we are going to have a look in service now. So I have a code here also that I am going to provide in uh, description part. And uh, uh, we are going to have a look on all the steps which is written here. I am going to service now quickly. And uh, let's have a look and understand this business use case. So today's business use case talks about two service portal. One, I already have the uh, two service portal created. This is ABC service portal. And the other one is uh, default SP service portal. If you have a look on the extensions of it, it says on top SP. This is for SP and uh, ABC SP. This is a for ABC company. User should redirect to the right company service portal. Okay. Now what I'm going to do? Let's have a look on uh, logging in this portal now with different different users and we'll see the behavior okay so uh, first i'm logging using the abc and user so as i said abc and user should be redirected to abc company service portal it should not lend it to the basic sp portal so have a look on the url now you can see it is aut automatically redirected to abc service portal okay now uh, Let's have a look on the request. So if you have a look on request, I can see two requests, number 42 and number 44. And these two should belongs to ABC company. Uh, let's have a click and uh, see who is the user. So that this is how uh, this data is separated automatically by ServiceNow to ensure appropriate company data is visible to appropriate users. Okay. Uh, we can have a look on uh, service now also 
uh, this is all these these are all incidents and uh, if i see abc and user related data that is number 44 and 42 so as i am logged in using abc i should be able to see the same data 44 and 42 number of records should be visible here rest other record should not be visible to me similarly if i am going to log in using xyz and user then i should be able to see 43 and uh, 41 okay so these are the incidents ending with 41 and 43 uh, let's have a look and uh, let's log in using another uh, okay xyz and user so it should redirect to the sp service portal not to abc service portal and uh, have a look on the request and uh, it should have uh, uh, incident ending with 41 and 43 so this is how data is automatically segregated if i go back to the home page and uh, have a look on the catalog that we already uh, reviewed in our last tutorial clicked on the departmental services here only xyz domain and global uh, catalogs which are visible we also had uh, abc catalog in the same category which is not visible here because i am logged in as an xyz user so let's understand how we can redirect users to appropriate company portal what all changes we need to make in the system so uh, i am in service now now and uh, you can see this is uh, uh, the portal configuration and the uh, url suffix is abc sp which is a separate portal other than uh, uh, default sp portal is created here okay so have a look this is the additional service portal which is created for specifically to company abc url suffix as an abc sp so the first step to achieve this redirection of the users what we need to do we need to set up these two properties first property is glide entry first page script with this value and second is glide entry page script with this value this is already mentioned in sp entry page uh, but these properties does not exist as of now which we need to create okay so if we need to redirect users to different portals these are the properties we need to create in system and this is the first step we have done here second step is now we need to understand we are going to show the appropriate company portal so to make a structured way what we have done is this is company record what we have done in this company record we have created one customized field service portal so you can see if i right click u sir underscore service underscore portal is the name where we are mentioning which service portal to refer so as we know for abc we are going to uh, redirect user to abc service portal so rather than hard code this particular details in the code itself what we have done uh, we have mentioned these details in one of the field under company itself similarly for xyz as we are re redirecting xyz user to default company portal this is blank but if we want to uh, redirect xyz users to any specific uh, company portal also that also we can uh, mention in this field accordingly users can be redirected to appropriate service portal third change is okay let's have a look on the users these are uh, these are the users we created as per the use case third change is in sp entry page script what we have done is if in this initialize function we have made uh, this line as in command because um, by out of box only this everything is getting redirected to sp so this is the line which was redirecting all users to the sp service portal now what we are doing here is we are we have created one company variable to find out what company this user belongs to so in user we already have the company details okay and this line item picks up the sys id of that company then we are checking if that particular company exists then we are 
getting that particular record complete record okay and from this company we are going to pick up this u service portal customized field value which we have created there and inside that uh, portal we have another url suffix as slash abcsp okay so this is what we are going to pick up so this if condition this is if condition which says this portal should be check for this value if we have this value adjust pick up the same value in case it does not adjust then we need to pick up sp and in case the company does not adjust itself then pick up sp okay so i'll provide this code in comment section and you can use it these are the change we made in the code and accordingly users are able to redirect to appropriate service portal that's all for the day thank you so much have a very happy new year thank you